Hey, how's everyone doing? My name is Brendan Real from Be Real VFX, and I'm here with a tutorial in After Effects. But as you can see, we're not in After Effects, but Premiere Pro, which is part of the Adobe Suite. I want to show you that I'm working on episode two of After Us, which is a web series that I am producing and also in charge of post production for. Episode one is already out, it's on my channel, it's over here, it's in short films, the first film in this playlist. So check it out. I also like to like to boost this bad boy as well as this one. I have a lot of great stuff on here, and that's that. With that being said, let's jump into After Effects with the tutorial. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is how to create a stylized looking professional video that makes it appealing to watch because this is what I have right now. I'm going to use my Ryan snowboarding video as an example. I brought the sequence here in After Effects and I'm going to apply a bunch of effects to it to make it look more appealing. To start off, I created a curves. So, hold on. This is the beginning and this is what it'll end up looking like. So, you choose a nice color palette, you go with that, have a nice vignette, and the end product is very appealing to look at. Once again, I started with the curves. <clears throat> I added the curves to an adjustment layer. This was titled Adjustment Layer. I just hit Return and typed in Curves. And then I applied the Curves effect by typing in Curves over here and dragging it onto the adjustment layer. And what I did was I color corrected for the oranges and the reds. So I just brought up the reds in the midtones, and I brought down the blues in the midtones as well. And that really popped out the colors in the video. Next, what I did is I added a vignette, which is the softness around the edges. It really brings in the audience's attention to the center. It says, look here, you know, because this is most of the time where your action is going to be in the center of your screen. And it just helps to add to the professionalism. <laughs> A good way to make a vignette is go to Layer, <clears throat> New, Solid, excuse me, and type in Vignette. It's two T's. <laughs> I always misspell it. Make it comp size and make sure it's black. And hit OK. And hit OK again. Nice. We have a big solid covering all of our layers. That's exactly what we want. Not. Up here, it's probably going to be the rectangle tool. But come up here to the rectangle tool, click and hold and let go on the ellipse tool and then double click on the ellipse tool it creates a nice ellipse right here on your black solid and it covers all four of the corners edges sorry <laughs> and just hit F for feather and down here just feather the crap out of it and I'm sorry make this to subtract that's better and hit T for opacity and just lower the opacity to mid 20s. I'm just going to take this vignette off and that's a simple vignette for you. I'm just going to delete this one because I already have one, but that's how you make a nice vignette. So I'm going to put that on and right here, let's see, right here is what I call the orange horizon because if you look up here on the top of the screen, it literally was an orange horizon. I just added a little bit of color because the image was so bland. There was just no color with the orange and red color palette that I chose to go with I decided that an orange horizon would look best to complement it. That's what I added and it really pops the colors here which is really nice because it helps with the final look. What you want to do is you want to choose a color palette to go with in this case I chose reds and oranges and then stick with that to make it look appealing you can either go green, you can either go blue, you can go red, you can go yellow, you can do whatever you want. But you have to choose one specific palette and try to work with that all the way through to the end product. Let me turn on the vignette. And finally, the null object and the text layers for the ending here, which I just tracked onto this feature. <clears throat> The last thing here is I just duplicated the bottom layer twice 
and set the transfer mode to add both times and just trimmed the edges down to the point that I wanted to begin and end and that created a nice transition effect from one shot to another just to add emphasis and break up the monotony of editing which I thought looked nice so add and I hit T for opacity and I set some keyframes at the beginning and end of this little clip so that it'll fade out to the regular footage which is very nice looking I might say over here on this end too really, really breaks it up but that is pretty much all that I did to help stylize my video if you do that you'll have a nice looking finished product I, think I forgot to add that I use the Video Copilot Gradient Gel for the Orange Horizon. I just dragged it onto an adjustment layer and I adjusted the start and endpoints and the color and opacity. I didn't animate them at all, I just set them and I left them here at the top of the screen throughout the whole video. But that's how I did it. So if you remember these few things, choose a color palette, make a vignette, and stick with that color palette and you'll have a nice professional looking product in the end. So hope that helps. Check out my previous videos if you like this one. And be sure to like this video if you like it. <laughs> and I just said like so many times. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.